presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good game there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TG, excuse me, folks, a TGIF. Let's make it a great one. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that'll make you happy. What will make you happy is to share all the love you have inside of you. That is the love that'll make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 80, NASDAQ down 23, S&P's up 1. Gold, gold contract up $34.50, trading at 2420 an ounce. You get silver up $1.72, $31.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 87 cents, $80.10 an ounce. Copper up 18 cents, 506 a pound. Light sweet crude. I already did that. Notes and bonds. 10 year note down 10 ticks, trading 10905. 30 year down 18 at 11710. And king dollar. King dollar right now, flat. 104,460. Euro 108. Yen 155. British pound 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. Now, I'm going to the world of commodities, folks, because if you are in the commodity market, you know that this thing is running in, a, in an amazing way. So, first, we're going to go to gold first. Take a look at the gold contract. Bottom line is that this was on ABC up to 2550 but I suspect what we're going to have here is that you're going to get a separate one when we overtake this high. It will probably go up to the high, fail the first time, go up the second time because we do have so much volume up there. That was a spike high. So I suspect right now you're up 34 bucks, 24.20. 24.48, okay, is the number for the next ABC structure up. So we'll see how it attacks it. Bottom line, I expect it's going to be a, an attack, period. The silver market, take a look at silver. Silver is also off to the races in a monster way. Silver actually has already done an ABC up. One second, let me just check this. 120,000, it's probably not because those two spikes, we already just took the spike out though. Yeah, it is. Well, actually, let me do it this way. Uh, SI1, I wanna do it this way. I'm gonna do the, con the generic contract so we can see exactly how, uh, where this thing is sh shaking out. Okay, so here's the generic and I'm putting on a 15-year monthly. Yep, it is unreal. Okay, man, so we're going, yeah, they, 35.44 is the next number, man. This thing's a rocket ship, man. I mean, a rocket ship. Yep. Now, now what's so cool here is that silver, you know, your resistance started at silver at 26.50, man. So, we're, we're through this resistance, man. I mean, you can see the, this is, uh, yeah, cool. Okay, one second. Five, 10, th this is 20 months that we just, we're eating into. And we're eating it really good because the, you're already at 31.30. So bottom line, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. But 35, 37, that's the next move there. If you go into the silver market, into silver equities, and this is where, if you haven't tested over in the gold report, just do it, man. I mean, this is, this is a run. And <laughs> we, we've picked it. We've hit it. So, and this is only the beginning of the run. So if we take a look, like if I take a look at Heck Hecla, 
Yeah, these are going to be ABC structures on, on the weeklies. Yep. Yeah. So, like with Hecla, 590, and they're big ones, man. That's, that's 270, 460, 5, 6, 710. And right now, where's the swing to? Yeah. We, we go to 710, and that's funny because the, the swings are 7 bucks too. And you're at 6 bucks. The. First Majestic, it's probably another ABC. There's ABC ups everywhere. No, First Majestic's not one. The, um, okay, so now let's go into the gold contract, into the gold equities. Royal Gold is finally getting some real juice, real love out here. So Royal, that's up 320 today. Put this on a weekly. You don't have an ABC up, but you're going, this thing is going for 147 right now. You're at 132. Now, let's go to the copper market, HG1. Now, oh, check this out, man. This is and the, the stock I'm going to bring up. A few of the Tigers already have the stock. This, my take is that the stock is really going to go this time. Okay, so the copper market's at 507. That's the generic market. And generic just means, folks, I'm stringing the futures together because you're going to see this copper is going to, I think it might have already did it. It broke all-time highs. I just want to make sure I'm right on that. Come on. Close. Okay, yeah, we broke all-time highs. Now, if I do this, Let's see how this one worked out. And it did a 0.618, so I can say that. Yeah, so I can do it this way. So let's do this. 501. Okay, so it's three bucks. Three bucks gets you 615. So 615 right now is the price projection for COPPA. And then we're going to go to Tseco. Tseco, folks, TGB, okay? Huge copper miner, okay? Lows a dollar, the high is $2.90. That's today. Now, this is a personality stock. You gotta understand the stock, too, if you're gonna. Well, I, that being said, my take is that copper is gonna continue to go and copper stocks are gonna make a fortune. So, this is definitely an ABC up. Now, check this out, man. Okay. So where do you see the size of this, man? This is a big, this is a beauty. So we got 270 and a buck. So it's a buck 70, A to B. That's gonna get you uh, 390. 390 is the next number. And we're at 290 right now. Bring this back. Yeah, see, you're, you're going over everything, man. Let me see if it's gonna be the same number if I do it a different way. If I do it, well, if I do it the other way, 290. Anyway, what did I just say? 390? Yeah, 390. And this has a high volume high at 720. How's that? Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, You've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. 
But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 89. The NASDAQ is down 19. S&Ps are up 2. And now let's go into SCCO. This, this is the largest copper stock in the world, folks. Uh, Southern Copper. So, oh, that's interesting, too. So this is up 4. Well, it's up 4 bucks today. This is on this way. I think I got a price projection of 135 on this. You're already at all-time highs, you know. Yeah, you're already at all-time highs. I mean, this is almost parabolic. <laughs> but guess what? Cop is more expensive now, too. So this was an ABC up. Let's look at this. Okay, so that was... Yeah, we already finished the ABC. That's what's going on. Because I know I have this in the goal report. And what we had to do is I had to take the top to the bottom. That's what I did. I took 82. We had a 41. A buck 20. Oh, look at it. Hit. It just hit the projection. That's what's going on. Because, now, th this is where this gets hard, folks, okay, in technical analysis. Let me put this back so you can see this for a second. Because now we have nothing on the left-hand side. Yeah. Bottom line is that <laughs> um, we have action, man. Holy cow. And this is, this is the type of action uh, that we had in 2000. 2001, 2002. This is the this is the type of action. Let's go to Andy in Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? So much, Tom. How you doing? Good, thanks, man. Good, good. So, hey, um, I'm just uh, looking at uh, SNV. I want to just add to my position. Uh, yep. You know, I've been listening to you for quite a while, and back in uh, early March, I decided to go ahead and set up a little small. Uh, Commodity portfolio of BTU and FNV and URA and XOM and nice. EWZ and and it's been doing great. But I want to add some more to that FNV. Yeah, Dave, this is this is okay, this is what's going on, folks. Okay, these equities seem like they're up a lot right now, and they are if you're in them. Okay, so all of us in the gold report, it's really going good, right? That being said, these the stocks are still low compared to where they're going to go. So let's go look at FNV. So for the last 12 months, the low is 104, the high 102, the high is 154. Okay. Now Franco Nevada, folks. Okay. So you have the two largest streamers out there: Franco Nevada, Royal Gold, and you have uh, th those are the two largest ones. You get Sand. Uh, I forget Sand something that is good, but it's it's 10 times more than 10 times smaller. Okay, so let's take this first and put this on a weekly. 
So on a weekly, it's busting in. One second. So that, let's see that one now. That's 3.4. That's 3.8, okay. I just missed an ABC. 3.3. So your next stop, let me just look at this for a second. Let's see what's going on here, one second. See, I think this is just, yeah, I did it. Okay, cool. So your next number on this is like 140, and you're at 127. One, yeah, 142. You're gonna, it, there's gonna be a little more flack, Andy. You can see the bar that we're in. It's gonna take a little bit to get through this bar. That bar, that bar that's when we went down at 7.5 million. The bottom of that uh -huh. bar is, you know, the 118, the high is 135 though. But it's already, it's already dug into it by nine points. You know, and this is a great stock. I mean, fundamentally, this is a, the way out. Look at this, one second. So, They take in $1.1 billion, $3.17 to the bottom line. And gold is just about all of it. So they got, say, I forgot when they, yeah, they did buy that, that energy. Well, I forgot about that. So out of that, $950 million is all gold or gold equivalents. And a gold equivalent, folks, is that they'll take the silver and they'll say that, okay, so many ounces of silver equals one ounce of gold, and that's a gold equivalent. Your next number, let's see this. Yeah, it's August 8th. I, I, would, I would add to it. I would, yeah. I mean, you know, th these all want higher price. Um, oh, what you might want to do, let me just look at this for a second. You don't own Royal Gold yet, do you? No, I do not. Okay, so let's look at, look at this for a second. So, so Royal's on its way to... 147. You're at 137. What is they saying? Let's see. The other one was doing 1.1 billion. This is doing 664 million. Four dollars and 39 cents. You might want to go at Royal Gold. This is what the difference is. The, nah, they're running the same. Royal's 38 PE and. Uh, Franklin Nevada is 40. The, tra okay. the trailing is, is a lot less, but going forward, that's what, that's what it looks like. Yeah, right, right now, Andy, I wouldn't um, really, I'm like, I was just going to say, get too worried about buying any of these, but that's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seriously, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I bought more today, and... Once over the weekend when I do this, I, I suspect I'm going to buy every ABC I see. Because we, what happens in the commodity market, folks, is that you get the run, then it consolidates. You get the run, it consolidates. You get the run, it consolidates. You know, and it's happening. And what is going to happen is that, yes, the fundamentals inside the mining structure have gone up, meaning the expense ratio has gone up, right? But the expense ratio versus the number that the raw number for the physical materials right is not even close the the you know gold silver platinum copper they've all gone up exponentially so when they just like when Newmont come out with their numbers when they come out with their numbers these numbers are going to be big man because they do millions of ounces you know what i'm saying so yeah 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 i'd i'd wrap so you, my you think so you think we're all go we're all Gold, golly, I can't see that. <laughs> uh, has more room to run than F and V. I, I mean, it's kind of looking like F and V might have a little bit more potential room to run. It's about, this. This is what uh, it is. We, okay, so so picture that when we look at the strength, what has happened? If I could, let's see, what has happened in the last ten years is that. It keeps going back and forth that Royal Gold is stronger than Franco Nevada, then Franco Nevada is stronger than Royal. Royal's fuck. Uh -huh. It just keeps going back and forth. But it's not enough of a differential. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. when they go, they go. That's what it comes down to. Like, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, like when I look at the chart, I like the chart hmm. of Royal better. But that being said, the last run in 2016 and the run in 2011, 
Franco Nevada was much stronger than Royal Gold. Much stronger. I mean, it, it just was. And, and that's consistency. So, you know, you can kind of take it okay. from there. Yeah. And what, what do you think about BTU real quick? BTU. BTU, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's see. Oh, Peabody Energy. Okay. Coal market. Oh, I get it. Okay. Low 17, the high is 27. You're at 22. Okay. Just stay there for a second. We'll come right back with Andy, okay? Stay right there, yep. folks. We're going to be uh, coming back with Andy. We're going to be looking at the coal. And coal's not going away, folks, just, just so you know that. Well, that's my opinion. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tigers Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now um, up 116. NASDAQ is down 14. S&Ps are up 4.5. We're talking with Andy from Colorado, and we're going into a Peabody Energy, uh, BTU. So let's take a look at this baby. And Peabody, so the low is $17 this year. The high is $27. You're tra trading at uh, $22.62. They take in 
4.3 billion, and they bring $2.43 to the bottom line. Now, this is what I want you to look at. See this on the other side here? Now, now picture, I don't know the exact date that coal's gonna be illegal in the United States, but there's a date that's going forward. Well, that's not the okay. world, folks, okay? The bottom line is that one of the, um, uh, what is it, firm? One of the biggest, one of the biggest trading firms in the world, folks, okay? They're, gonna, they're moving out some assets, except their coal, okay? Bottom line is that this is going to be around for a while. That's, that's my take on it anyway. So if we take a look at this chart, let's see what we have here, Andy. Okay, so I'm going to bring this back. First to five-year weekly. Oh, look at that. It's consolidating. What a trip this is. Yeah, it's kind of the bottom of the little yeah, range there. which is really nice. Okay, so let me do this. And that's kind of where my buy-in was. Okay. A way back, you know. So I mean, like, like I said, like the in the February, beginning of March, start buying. Yep. Of these commodities, it sounded like you know we finally are hitting that point that you've been talking about for a while. That's right. And, <laughs> you know, That's, <laughs> finally, right? Yeah, finally, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I like this, man. I mean, it's got ten bucks in it, thirty-two. That's that's how this is set up, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. It might be a year, but who cares, right? I mean, that's that's a 50% right. gain, man, if you can get it. So, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd stay right there, man. Particularly because, see that? This is kind of cool. See that monthly from four months ago? I love it when it does that. It goes up. What it, what it is, folks, is it goes up, takes the swing point out, huge expansion of volumes, 97 million. The swing had 60 million, then failed. Okay, the test it failed. Comes all the way back down to 21. So that one there is 27. So what ends up happening is that you look at the equity when it's at 27. You know, if it fails again, well, you got to make a decision. But then if it doesn't fail, then you got 32 on the, on the agenda, man. So, yeah, I'd stay right there, particularly because people are scared of coal right now, too, Andy. Do you know what I'm saying? And I right. get it, folks, yeah. but I, I got a lesson beyond belief in 2001. And what it was is this, is that right when the... You know, I'd been in the commodity market for a couple of years at that point, right? And we were at a show, Andy, and folks, and, and what ended up happening, I met this guy, right? Um, you know, we were all a lot younger then, okay? <laughs> and uh, he says to me, so I'm telling you, man, coal's going to go. I'm putting, he, he was a uh, farmer in Indiana, young kid, because I was probably 50 then. Yeah, I was, I was 49 then. And he was probably like uh, maybe 30, 35, 40. Um, and this is when coal was in the dumps, too. All commodities were in the dumps at that point, folks, okay? Uh, bottom line is that he stopped buying a couple coal mines for nothing. They were giving them away in 2000. Mm -hmm. And I met mm -hmm. him like three or four years later, and, of course, he was doing great. Now, I don't know the end of the story because then coal crashed again. <laughs> so, <laughs> But I got, I really got... I start looking at coal a lot then, let's put it that way. And I understand that it's dirty and all this, but the bottom line is that the Chinese aren't going to stop using coal for, we're all going to be dead. Do you know what I mean? So, you know. Right, yeah. yeah. And they, I, from what I heard, too, BTU does a lot of metallurgical, too. So um. Right. And, and I suspect what's going to probably happen is that the, the furnaces just may change. But if the furnaces change, right? And they can suck out, you know, whatever coal pushes out. Well, it's going to make a difference too, like immediately, you know. And yeah, so, absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. And election year is coming up too, obviously. So right, right. And we get a bull market. There's a bull yeah. market in commodities in a, in a monster way. This is, I would say today, okay, because you, you, when you see something, there's always tipping points, folks. Okay, and it's not like I mean, gold's up good today, thirty-five dollars. But these equities, this is a tipping point, man. These equities are all up from 5% to 10%. And this is not the first time. That's in one day. And, yeah, so I think the run's here. And I, I think it has to do with everything's more expensive. Inflation is getting under control. But, like, we're not going back down. You know, even if we go 3% to 5% a year now, it's like those prices are here. Okay, so at 3%, that's the number. But if you're still at so much of a higher price that, you know, it's not backing down. It's like the groceries in the store, folks, okay? You know, you can't expect, I don't think 
let's say a steak, I mean, the sirloin steaks now are like 20 bucks a piece or something. Do you know what I mean? They're not going to go back right, down to yeah. 10. They might go, you know, $20.50, $21, $22 for the same, you know what I mean? A year from now, something like that. But these prices are up, man. And, and that's what the market is catching on to. And, and because the market is so um, small, the, the, the commodity market is tiny, folks, okay? So all it takes <laughs> is, you know, buyers coming in the marketplace, and that changes everything. It just, uh, you know, it does. And, and what is really impressive, I think, is that when I was, you know, I was doing that interview yesterday with Elliot um, on Wednesday, and we were, I was talking about the aspect that the ETF structures in gold and silver, folks, okay, have not got the type of traction that they got in 2016, 2011, and 2002. But guess what? It's more impressive that we've got the run, and we've got the run because what has happened is that the central banks and people are buying physical. Physical is where mm -hmm. it's at, man. And that they're buying yeah. physical, and that's what's, that's what's, that's real. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, we talked about that a couple of years too. And yes, I'm, I'm glad I listened to you, and I got what I got a couple of years ago. So yeah, well, mm -hmm. now we're cooking. Anyway. Now we just got to make hey. sure we we sell in about a year and a half and buy a few more houses. <laughs> 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 exactly. Totally. Or, or at least pay off our taxes. One or the other. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, hey, uh, real real quick, one last thing, Tom. If you have a second. Yeah. Uh, how much of how much is the yen? I know it's influencing probably the gold price, but does the yen also kind of put a little hitch in the giddy up of the rest of these commodities too? Well, what it does, this is what's so wild, man. It's unbelievable that gold has gone this high with the yen this week because the, yes. co the correlation, folks, was just the opposite. So it's like when I look at the yen and the U.S. dollar right now, right, is that they're both, the, the U.S. dollar is really strong. I mean, it's trying to get back in its higher range. It, it failed today. But my take is the dollar's going to go down. And we're so high in the yen, meaning so weak. And if this goes down, too, I mean, we'll see. But every time that the yen gets stronger, gold gets what much stronger. You know what I mean? In 2016, yeah. 2011, and 2002, when the yen would get weak like this, gold market would get killed. Killed. But I think a lot yeah. of this has to do with India and China. That physical buy and is all over the place. Andy, have a great weekend, right. safe weekend. Thanks you for the too, call. Thanks. Stay right there, folks. If Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. 
Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien! Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now up a buck 11. NASDAQ is uh, down 11. S&Ps are up four and a half. Let's go to our man John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Up, did I miss one? This is Mark. This is Mark in Fort Collins. You got the wrong guy. Hey, how did I do that, Mark? What's happening, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I, I moved pretty far from Colorado. <laughs> I, I like it. I guess so, huh, man? <laughs> oh, man. What are we going to look at, Mark? Well, since it's an ABC up Friday, let's look at the um, copper, the copper miners ETF, C O P X. T O P X. I didn't even know there was one. That's awesome. Okay, Global cool. Global X Copper Miners ETF. It's okay, hold on. Give me the give me the symbol like again. ABC up to the mid seventies. What is the symbol again, please? C. E? Charlie O P X. I got it. Beautiful. Oh, Global X. Interesting, man. I solicited these guys. I, I know the guys started this. Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, look at this. Yeah, right. Okay, so the low Nine. for the year is 31. The high is 51. We're at 51 right now. And let me just... on like a week, weekly or yep. monthly going back to at least uh, okay. to 2020. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. Look at all these. Oh, this is going to be an easy way to do it. Oh, it's Glencore. The, 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 the company I was trying to think about, folks, Glencore, which is one of the biggest traders in the world, Glencore, they're selling some assets, but they will not sell their coal mines. So when I was just talking about that the, uh, with Andy. Okay, so now let's do this. Let's take a look. Okay, so we already... Oh, yeah, it's a monster ABC up. Okay, cool. Okay, so let me, let me see this. So if I do it... Okay, so one second. I broke the consolidation. Well, there's the there's the break on the top side. So if I do it this way, one second. So this 42, I'll conservatively say, uh, and I'm going to take, I'm not going to take the bottom of 31. I'm going to take the bottom of 34. So that's eight. Now that's 50. That's where that price projection is. We're already there. That's the first one. Oh, I see. Then we can do this again. Okay, let me put this in a monthly and see if this... Yeah, monthly, I think get you like seventy-three ish or something. If you go nice. Nine, oh yeah, no, this is this is cool. And it broke with volume. Yep, it definitely broke area. with volume. Yeah. And yeah, it's 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 a, it's a monster ABC up. Here, I got it. Okay, I, I, nice Andy. I mean, uh, Mark. Mark. No, I got it. I sorry. Man. <laughs> okay, Tom, four, Dick, Harry, whatever. Forty-seven. <laughs> uh, Thirty-seven. Okay, it's a thirty-seven A to B. Forty-seven, fifty-seven. 63. Yeah, 63 is game. Uh, I right? think you got a, yeah, 40, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's. And, and, minus nine, and seven minus 9. Yeah, and what happens here, folks, now it's C O P X, because this is what's cool. What also happens, if you want to, this is a quick way to find all the minus, then go into the holdings, right? There's all your yeah. copper minus right there. So you can do, in the, in the U.S., you can do uh, quite a few of these, man. I mean, you got. Freeport MacMoran is a big one. What happens with Freeport MacMoran, folks, is awesome. You get gold and and uh, copper. Um, Ivanhoe, Ivanhoe is a big big number. They got Southern Copper, of course. 
First quant uh, first qu don't touch but now first quantum don't touch that right now because that's the mind folks that um, they had to shut down and they yeah so but there's some there's some good resources in here man yeah so yeah yeah you get action there man there's no doubt about it and uh, so what do you think of this Peter this whole commodity deal meaning right. you know you're in the market, you know. I know you're, you're you know, you're, you're in the market a lot. So it's, it's like. It, yeah, I know. I it, mean, I've got, I'm, I mean, I've got like the UGL and the AGQ, which are the, the multiples of the silver and the gold. Nice. Actual, um, and those are those are flying. Um, so I'm happy with that. And I've got C, uh, CDE. Nice. Core mining from with thanks to Basil. Yeah. And uh, I'm hooked into TGB already. I've been in that since like two bucks. So, yeah, everything's looking good, and I'm pretty excited because I've been sitting on some of this for a while. So. Right. No, I'm with you. And, and folks, that that's what it takes, too. If you get in the commodity market, you got to have a kind of stomach, too. I mean, right now, we haven't had to have a stomach. It's been a one-way trip, you know, for three, three four, four months. But you need a stomach. <laughs> yeah, and I've had some for longer than three or four months, so I've had to have a stomach. So. <laughs> yeah, no, to to totally, totally, man, totally. Well, listen, man, it's always a pleasure, Mark. You have a great one, a safe one, okay? Okay, take care, everybody. Thanks, man. Let's go. Now we're going to go to John Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Oh, he's gone. Okay, that's all right. I know what he wants. He wants Baidu. So let's take a look at Baidu. The low in Baidu is $94. The high is 156 We're trading at 110 Okay, so this here, put this back. You know, this is, it's certainly interesting because it's coming off the lows. So, is he there? Oh, John, what's going on, brother? Yeah, he's not there. Anyway, um, I can hear the open line, but this is this is good. I mean, this wants to, you know, my take is it's going to go to 126. It's it's into the big bar, the bar that uh, this thing got destroyed in uh, October of 2023. It goes from 125 to 105. Um, now that volume there was 20 million, but guess what? We did 25 million this month already, and two months ago we did 26 million. That's saying that. It's pushing into the swing, has volume, and then that next swing point is game. The swing point that we're talking about here is at that uh, 126. So, and the Chinese market it's, itself, folks, okay, is has has lifted off the bottom. There's, you know, here if we look at this, watch. Bring this over. I go to the hang sang. I go to the hang sang for a second. And what you're gonna see here. This has been a one-way route and a monster, well, it's not a route, one-way win. Put this on a monthly. And, yeah, I mean, there's action. The, the Hang Sang's at 19,000. It's on its way to 22.7. So, and this is a decisive. Now, watch this. This is actually a decisive. I could go for the very top, but that's, like, being way too liberal, you know, when you talk about breaking the downtrend, this broke it in spades. And it actually broke it from the level of, what do you say this? It broke it from the level of 31,000, and you're at 19. Now, it'll get flack when it tries to get back inside of ice. Inside of ice starts at uh, 24,000, 24,500. There's ice when we bring this up. That's kind of the flack. Nothing like a bull. Nothing like a bull. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 111. Nasdaq's down 22. S&Ps are up 3.5. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, 
It has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 107. Nasdaq's uh, down 19. S&Ps are up 3.5. And, and I believe we're going to be finished. Yeah, we're going to be finished at all-time highs, man. Pretty wild. Let's take a look at it. Yeah. Okay, we take a look at the SPY. You're at 529.07, 43 million. Let's see how this works out on a weekly. I'm curious that if we, we I know we took the swings out. Okay, so it's gonna, there's, there's a contraction. Look at the contraction out here. It's a pretty good contraction. So you got 247 versus 367. Yeah, so you're gonna have to keep your eye on the, the broad market. You know, I'm bullish, that's for sure, but this could dip underneath this where we just took it out again. Let me see the cues. Because that's a contraction. That's a pretty good contraction on the, on the weekly basis. So the cues... Oh, this is going to get dicey on the cues. Interesting. I see this. Well, not really. So, 449.38 is the number. 201 versus 165. So, that's uh, both of these last highs, folks, that we're taking out here next week. Um, we're going to have to watch it. But what also happens next week, which is really wild, is the... Um, aspect of uh, the Memorial Day. And then we get a question on the dollar. 
The doll it tried to get into its higher range today and failed, which is awesome. Well, it's awesome if you want a weaker dollar, um, which I want. So the dollar got to 104.798 today, and the larger range starts at uh, 109, I believe. I mean, 104.970. Yeah, so it missed it. And it's set up for now, and that ABC structure down. If that's what we get, guess what? Everything's going up again, no matter, no matter what you buy. <laughs> Now, there's some giddiness for you. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Come back and visit Jacob and Tommy Monday morning, 9 a.m. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.